right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. So here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion, whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, the referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Love. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 62 wins, 43 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, presenting the challenger, Mark Super Samoa. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 63 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Arlington, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Fisher. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. Up for grabs tonight. The title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. All right, so here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion out of the red corner. Many of you remember his title defense not all that long ago. He won it by knockout. 
and most of the guys, the number one contender types who have risen to a title shot, have succumbed to his power. They think they know what it feels like, and then all of a sudden they get in the octagon, and they just can't take the pop. So we'll see how he handles this particular challenge here tonight. Certainly an outstanding grappler who could pose some different challenges if we hit the canvas. He told us his game plan is to avoid the mat at all costs. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Hunt. Boy, he stepped in and out. And he lands it to the leg. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. Spinning back fist is there. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. Clipped him with the right hand there. Tags him. Oh, snaps off the jab effectively yet again. Hunt gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. And he's looking for that left. Nice shot over the top there. Oh! Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. That's it! That's and it! That's gonna do it! KO by ground and pound. Yeah, Joe, the finish comes courtesy of some outstanding ground and pound. And it's one thing to try to score when you have your opponent in a compromised position on the ground. It's another thing to try to end the fight. And that's exactly what he was trying to do here tonight. Elbows and punches and hammer fists, one weapon after the next. And ultimately, the knockout materializes. Nicely done there. And here we see it again. Ba-boom! So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop in this contest at three minutes, six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO, and that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.